So this is unplanned, but um, it's not really a script. I just wanted to go through some some tire opinions and tire choices out here. So to get into it. Um, <clears throat> I've been changing around tires a little bit here, trying some different things. Um, something that I value a lot because the tire changes um, directly how your EUC is going to ride, how it's going to perform, handle certain terrains, how it's going to handle. Um, a lot of people, I even seen today, someone complaining about they didn't like the RS um, high torque handling the uh, CST knobby here. So if we look at the CST knobby, um, the profile on it is is terrible. It's terrible for road riding. Um, the only thing this is really good for is if you basically are only going to ride on dirt um, and you have no value for any kind of street, road, or any other kind of performance. Um, this tire here, um, we'll start with this one. This one's a pretty heavy tire. Uh, it'll even stand up straight. You can just leave it here. But it weighs about... Um, four pounds eight ounces so this tire um the reason this tire is so bad is because as you turn with it it's not predictable so you're getting different feedback based on a linear amount of input so as you turn you don't really get any kind of turning until you eventually hit a point where it starts to go over this final this final knob on the side and once you get that, then the tire just falls over. It just falls over flat, and it hooks extremely hard in an unpredictable manner. Um, this tire really can't be saved for road riding. You can try to, like, up the pressure. It'll make it a little bit rounder, but it, this tire just is not the tire that you want. Um, there's so many better options, even ones with basically the same profile. Like, you could have the Kenda K262. Um... The Shinko that looks similar, I believe it's the 244. Um, even the 241, I believe that's the one that also like picks up a lot of rocks and stuff. But there are knobbies. Uh, there's the Duro um, motorcycle tire. There's a lot of things that you can have that will give you off-road performance equivalent to this, but they won't sacrifice the on-road performance. Um, this tire came on my EXN stock. Terrible. Hated it. I thought maybe I didn't like the EXN. And now I've, you know, been through a couple different tire changes on the EXN, and I've realized that the, the tire was the reason I didn't like riding it. Um, so this is a big mistake that they put on wheels by default. Um, people look at it, they see that, you know, it looks like the tire that the Sherman comes with, which is the Kenda, but that tire rides completely different, I promise you. I've had the Kenda on an MSX for a while. Um, All right, jump cut here to the next tire that I'm going to be talking about. Uh, looking at the uh, CST, still not entirely sure. I don't remember the letter number combination for this tire. But this is the uh, C1488, I believe it is. So the C1488, this tire, they started putting this on the MSX. Um, and the MSP, I think some of them maybe. Um and then this comes stock on the V11 now. Uh, this tire is equally, maybe not equally as bad as the uh, the CST Nobby. Um, this tire is made out of paper. It only weighs about two pounds, three ounces. This is a very squishy, thin bicycle tire. Um, I wouldn't really put this on anything that you're looking to get any kind of performance out of. Um, the tread pattern, you don't really get good traction up the middle um, because it's just a solid bar. You'd think that maybe it would ride okay on street because of that. It really isn't very good on street either. It's a very um, pointy tire, so it's it's kind of unstable. And it, it's twitchy, so if you pump it up enough, it will get twitchy, and you can kind of flick it around, but it still doesn't have a nice, even... Um, feedback that you get from turning it so it's like it's like really twitchy here but then once you get to the sides then you keep turning but then you don't really get much more from it it just kind of kind of stops so you think you can keep turning to make a tight turn and it doesn't so it's just it's another kind of uneven tire um, 
in my experience this tire actually if you put it on a wide rim it actually doesn't ride too bad on a wide rim like the v11 has a wider rim than the um than pretty much all of the bigode wheels a lot of the bigode wheels i think they're only four centimeters or 40 millimeters something like that maybe even 30 but i know that the v11 rim is a good deal wider and i think that this tire actually does ride not too bad on the v11 i don't think you really should be you don't need to be in a hurry to change a stock tire but you definitely it's definitely something to look forward to because you're really going to unlock you know a better riding experience whenever you do change this tire out um off-road this tire is not great i found that i could only really get some traction if i kind of went into hills and things kind of like at an angle to try to get this tread to hook up um but even then there's so many times that um I'd hit maybe a mildly wet log or root going uphill on the center the center bar and it would just spin out. I'd lose traction, the wheel would tilt forward, and then that was pretty much it. So I definitely don't like this tire. I would recommend changing it to pretty much anyone that has it eventually. But if you have a wider rim, it can actually handle okay. Um the other bad thing about it is that it's so because it's so flexible. Um, this really isn't going to save your rim at all. So if you are a more extreme rider, I'd probably change this out pretty much as soon as possible. Um, you really don't gain much from using this. The only benefit to this tire is that it's so light that your acceleration uh, and deceleration will actually be a good bit better. Your wheel will be a little bit more responsive off the line just because this has no... It has no inertia to it really there's no gyroscopic feeling either that also leads to it wanting to fall over because this tire just weighs nothing so you get barely any kind of gyro feeling um really all that can be said about this tire it's just you know you ride it like you stole it try to kill it as fast as possible and then just look forward to putting on a better tire eventually all right Jump to the next tire here. Um, going through these in no particular order, um, but this is the Chow Yang. Um, a lot of people called this the Nike swoosh tire. Um, don't remember exactly. Uh, the H five one o two. So this was this was a good tire. Um, this was a really good tire that used to come on the MSX. This is the tire that used to come on it before they replaced it with the other um, CST garbage. This tire is a very good road tire. It's fairly, you know, it's fairly stiff. It'll give you some decent rim protection. Give me a second here. It does have some, some actual mass to it, about three pounds, three ounces. Um, yeah, this tire is... It's not bad. It's actually not a bad um, road tire. There's really nothing else that I can say about this. You can't really get it anymore. So to be honest, it's really not worth talking about. The rubber compound is fairly, it's fairly stiff. It's pretty, you know, pretty solid if you're only going to ride street. But honestly, the off-road performance wasn't too bad either. So it really just sacrificed everything in terms of handling, off-road performance everything switching to the the um that csd tire that comes stock on like v11 now so really not a big fan of that tire but yeah this one's good if you can find any of these old stocks somewhere or someone is sitting in someone's basement i got this from someone um whenever i bought some accessories for my msx he just gave me it because he said hey i'm not going to use it anymore he got out of the hobby so with this tire from him it still has some miles left on it um that's pretty much that one all right so next tire here we got the the ikea this tire this is the j-1836 and this is an 18 by 3 inch, um, pretty much same as the rest. This tire comes stock on the S18 now. 
three pounds, four ounces, so it has some weight to it. Um, this tire, I really don't have a lot of negative things to say about it. This is an okay tire. Um, unfortunately, on the, um, the S18 over here, um, we'll get to these tires um, last. Um, you just can't fit bigger tires on it. It's such a shame. If they just, if they made the, um, the mud guard and the fenders and everything just a little bit bigger to house a bigger tire, you would have a lot better options to run on it. Um, you can do a delete on the mud guard and fender and everything, but then everything up top inside the unit is going to get coated in mud and it's really not what you want. And it's definitely going to, hurt the shock because it's going to get coated in debris and everything as well so um back to this this tire is you know it's all right it's probably stock it's probably one of your better street tires um it's kind of odd to me because the s18 is to me is pretty much an off-road wheel um you know people do commute on it it's it's not bad for for that shorter range commutes but it just really shines off-road it's so light easy to throw around and just handles the terrain well um this tire it's very flicky it's pretty consistent you don't have a ton of traction on it it's definitely not my first choice of off-road tire but it it will get you across gravel pass and stuff like that um just would probably avoid single track until you get a better tire on it because this just isn't going to do it especially in any kind of wet conditions um handles the road great um not really any gyro pretty pretty decent turning on this actually s18 is kind of fun in its own ways with this tire that it comes with um but i didn't have this on for all that many miles before i threw on the um the knobby that's over there so we can jump straight into the knobby actually talking about that before i pull up the uh the final ones so um so on this, I got this, uh, I'm not sure if you can find this anymore. This is a Changshin, of course. I don't think they make this tire anymore either. I also got this from the same guy that um I got the uh the Nike swoosh tire from. This tire is pretty dirty right now. I was taking it off road the last time I had it out. Um if I can find the markings on it, then we'll uh I'll put it in the description. But Basically, from what I've seen, I looked into it. I think this has been replaced by, there's an IRC tire, um, an IRC knobby that you can get. It looks a little bit different, but whenever I searched um, the model number for this tire, it, for some reason, pulled up that tire instead, and I, I don't know why. So we've lost a couple good tires over the years, but this tire is a beast off-road. And honestly, it really doesn't handle street that bad either. Um... I know it looks pretty bad. If you go slow, you can feel the gaps in the knobbies. You do have actual gaps here. It's not, I wouldn't really consider this a dual sport tire at all, but for the road, it's really not that bad either. I don't really have any major complaints about it. It handles okay. You know, it's not something I'd be taking to a track. It's not something I'd be doing fast corners on pavement or asphalt with, but this tire um, is phenomenal off-road. I can't really say anything bad about it. I still feel as though I like the um the Kenda K262 maybe a little bit better off-road. I don't know if, you know, the way that the tread on that tire set up, maybe it had more traction or maybe it's just a little bit wider. You know, the the S18's a pretty pretty narrow base um wheel. So that could have something to do with it, but I, you know, this handles predictably off-road and Traction is really not something that's of concern to me. So I'll be sad once this tire finally starts to to wear out and I'm going to have to look at something else. So that's pretty much it for the S18. And up here to the final um, 
final tires that I want to talk about. Um, we're going to start with the Chaoyang H666. We got the wheel of the devil here. Um, this tire has a pretty, pretty street profile to it. Um, but it actually, mm, yeah, it's pretty street. We'll get into this in a second. So start with the weight. So this tire has some weight to it. Three pounds, 14 ounces. Um, it's a pretty stiff tire. Um, it's stiffer than the other bike-like tires. Um, you know, maybe you could run this on a moped or something like that, but it's still, it's just still not stiff enough. Um, it's not stiff enough, and I rode this tire a good bit, so I got a lot to say about this one. Um, it's very, very twitchy. It's very squirrely. A lot of people don't like it because of that the center the center is very pointy so what that means is if you're trying to ride in a straight line you know if the wind hits you um you know i'm a lighter rider the exn is a little bit heavy on the left side um so at high speed i i was having issues with it pulling to the left with the stock cst um knobby so i put this on and I thought maybe it was the tire that was giving me issues, but this tire still did the same thing. It might have been the same, maybe a little bit worse because of how twitchy this is. It really wants to, to pull you to the side. Um, it gets a little bit better as you break it in. Um, the, the center line will start to wear in a little bit to be a little bit more evenly. So this is a tire that will change how it rides as you put miles on it. Um, it's a very fun street tire. I don't know if I would say it's a very good um, high-speed tire. If you're constantly pushing beeps and you're moving fast and you're really ripping city hard, I don't know if this is really the tire for you. It's a fun low-speed tire. It's fun to go maybe up to 25, um, you know, 30. But if you're pushing, if you're pushing 40 and, and higher on the... Um, you know, you're trying to, to really push it on the EXN. Uh, this tire doesn't handle potholes very well. So on the EXN, for me, you know, EXN is still a little bit of a heavier wheel. But I had to run this tire at about almost 40 PSI just to feel safe that I wouldn't damage my rim. Because it just, it's so, it's still pretty squishy. And I can't imagine what even one of the more paper thin tires would handle like, but it's still so squishy that it really pushes in whenever you, you hit into a, a pothole, um, whenever you hit into a curb. So I had to run the tire pressure pretty high to feel kind of safe on this thing, which again, you know, contributes to it being really squirrely, not very stable. Um, I would say that the cornering, you know, once you get out of the center line, the cornering becomes more stable or more predictable, but it's very twitchy on the center line, which is why I feel a lot of people don't like this tire. Um, Off-road, this thing is terrible. This is one of the worst off-road tires that I've ever ridden. Um, obviously, it's not an off-road tire, but sometimes you can't you don't have a choice. Sometimes you have to go through some grass or gravel or this, that, the other. Um, this tire will not handle any of that stuff well. Even in even in dry dirt or grass, this tire just felt abysmal. Gravel, forget about it. This thing, this thing feels like you're on ice whenever you touch some of that stuff. Um, and I've never, out of all the other tires that I've ever really ridden on, none of them have given me less confidence in grass or off-road than this tire it just did not perform it was abysmal um but if you are looking for a street tire that's cheap and you can throw on it's very easy to mount because it's pretty bendy um you can throw this on any you know 18 20 inch wheel whatever whatever wheel is a 14 inch rim it fits good the fitment was decent um the ride was good um Compared to the stock CST, I really felt like I was unlocked on this thing. But there's just the drawbacks of just being kind of twitchy, being kind of squirrely, and doing absolutely terrible off-road. Um, those are pretty big drawbacks for me. You know, some, I, I did get some wobbles with this tire. No crashes, nothing bad. I was able to ride it out 
and I, in a way, I kind of feel like this was like riding with leg weights on, like I was like training, because I switched to um, the other tire we'll talk about here is the Michelin Pilot Street 2. I still got the sticker over here. So the Michelin Pilot Street 2, you're looking at um, 80, which is the width, 90, which is the aspect ratio, 14, which is the rim size. Um, I've heard some people, you can if you can find the different aspect ratios, you can run those, I believe. Um, you just got to be careful. So this tire here is um pretty much it's a beast i really there's nothing bad that i can say about it it's one of the best tires that i have ever had the pleasure of riding on um it does pretty much everything i watched another review from a from a fellow that was um uh riding a v11 and he put this on he did put it on the other way honestly i did a lot of research into it mount it however you want I think that if you put this on flipped and it's, you know, running the other way, I think you might get a little bit more traction out of it. Um, do not get confused. These notches that are in the tire, these have nothing to do with water removal or anything like that. They're not siping. Um, this tire is uni er, bi-directional. So if you mount it on the front of a motorcycle, it's supposed to go the other way. You put it on the rear, it's supposed to go this way. To me... I feel like I'm doing more accelerating than braking, so I put it on this way. And I just like the way it looks better. But I do think you might get a little bit more traction. These these ridges are a lot deeper than you think that they are. Um, they go all the way down to the base of the tire. This tire is hard, um, but we have a lot of benefits here. So the tire itself is hard. Then to me, that just means that the... Um, it's, it's just a very durable, it's thick, it's a different construction from these other bike tires we were talking about. We were talking about, you know, this might not be an actual motorcycle tire, it's more of like a moped tire. It's not rated for the speeds of a motorcycle tire. It's not soft or tacky like a motorcycle, you know, high performance motorcycle tire might be, like a track tire or anything. But for us, on an EUC, this thing outperforms the rest it outperforms literally everything all the other tires i talked about this thing will do excellent off-road it will do excellent on-road it'll do excellent in grass um and i know a lot of people were kind of laughing about it and clowning the guy people talk about i've seen a few people say it now but now that i have one it's true it does do good off-road it really does it does much better than than you know this tire over here much better than this tire by miles does much better than the h666 that we just talked about um it it's confidence inspiring it's, it's bizarre for you know a street moped motorcycle tire to perform that well off-road it's just a different compound it's just better There's really nothing else to say about it so the tire itself is hard um but to me that just means whatever pressure you run it's going to Pretty much turn evenly you don't need to pump it up to get it to turn better or and it's not going to turn worse if you run it a little bit lower at least not in my experience um i weigh about 130 pounds so maybe for a heavier rider it might shift a little bit i am running this with a tube on it um exm doesn't have um a notch for the tire bead to sit into it doesn't have a little ridge there so you can't really get this to work tubeless very easily on this wheel um the new wheels like the master and stuff i think the s22 they're starting to come with ridges for beads so you can actually run those tubeless um would love to know what this feels like tubeless but the sidewall of the tire is a little bit thinner and it does have some flex to it so it's not that the profile up here is flexing this will push in but the sidewall is what will absorb you know the flex so I was worried that this was going to be so hard that I'd get ripped off the wheel if I ran into a pothole. But I've hit potholes 35, 40 miles per hour. And this thing just, it just absorbs it. It just tanks it. Um, there's really, there's really no drawbacks. Um, you can run it a little bit lower. I have it at 35 right now. I felt that whatever tire I was running prior, pretty much all the other tires, I could run this at about 5 PSI less and still feel confident that I'm not going to dent the rim. Um, 
just went on a ride, was taking this thing down flights of steps. Now, the EXN, since I've had it, has been basically, it's just been a bear. I don't really like to do um, crazy stuff on this. I don't like to do curb bonks. I don't like to do big drops or anything like that off-road. But this tire makes me feel like I can do it without damaging the rim. And it's really not that uncomfortable to do it on, you know? It's just... It's a good tire. It really is. It's a game changer. Um, stability at speeds. It has a nice gentle profile to it. So it's a lot more stable than the H666. It's a lot more stable than the um, CST that comes stock on the V11. So at high speeds, you're not really getting like side to side wobbles or anything like that because it's just very stable. Um, I thought it is a little bit heavier. This is about five pounds plus, um, which is heavier than all the other tires. But honestly, I really don't feel it anymore. It, it still accelerates excellent. I haven't noticed a massive decrease in range. Um, the turning is confidence inspiring. It's phenomenal. That's pretty much it. It just, you know, I could talk talk this tire up for days about how good it is. Um, and I would definitely suggest to others to give it a try. You know, if you're running RS high speed and you're riding street or a v11 and you mostly do street maybe some little bit of gravel here and there you know this thing you can't go wrong with this this is an excellent tire it just beats everything else you know you want to steps and things like that you know it's not bouncy the other tires you up the pressure on them to keep your rim safe they start to get bouncy but this tire just absorbs the blow it takes it you barely leave the ground you'll you know you, it doesn't get rid of it. It's not suspension. You'll still rail a pothole, and it can be jarring. But this thing, man, the other tires, the H666, if I hit a pothole, I'd go airborne. I'd catch air off of it. If I went off a drop or a high curb, you know, sometimes in the city we have curbs that are almost a foot high. Um, if you go off of that, I would bounce. Like, I would skip off the ground on those tires. But this thing, I just land and I'm planted. I feel one with the ground. Um so that's pretty much it i just wanted to do some tire talk uh tires are tires are the um they're pretty much the soul of the euc you know it, it nothing is going to change how a wheel rides more than a tire so i definitely advise people to experiment um it's not that bad taking most of these apart unfortunately the v11's kind of a pain sherman's a pain to take apart but um try some different tires because you know it'll it could have you you know re-fall in love with the wheel that you already like you know if you're running the cst knobby and you like it you know just think about it could be better it could always be better so definitely just don't get complacent don't deal with the tire that you have you know don't look at mud or wet grass and think oh i'm gonna slip out or um you know, oh, maybe I can't make it up that, so you, you avoid it. You know, get the tire you want. If you want an off-road beast, you know, try the Kenda. I try the, I I have one coming in, the uh, the Japanese TR1 tire that also looks like the Kenda. That tire can actually fit on the S18, and I plan to give that a try as well. You know, experiment. It's like 50 bucks or so, and it completely changes the ride and, and every characteristic of your, of your EUC, so... Definitely don't get too attached to your stock CST knobby or this, you know, awful stock CST tire. You know, if you're riding street, H666. If you're doing some off-road, if, even if you're in the middle, you know, I was looking for dual sport tires. It's hard to find good dual sport tires, but I think that the Michelin Pilot Street, too, um, you know, it has street in the name, but I actually think that that tire can, can do some light off-roading and stuff like that. It's just such a better tire compound it just grips up everything better gravel you name it so that's pretty much just that just wanted to to rave about my new tire and talk about my experience over these other ones so if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments i'll try to um i'll try to find that tire's name put it in the comments as well even though you can't really find it anymore can't really find the nike swoosh tire anymore either but all the rest of these are all still readily available E Wheels has the H666. It's a great street tire if you want to try it. They sell it with an inner tube. 
it doesn't say that it comes with an inner tube, but they give you one anyways. So we all know the E-Wheels website is not the greatest. So that's it. Thanks for watching.